Hey guys, if you want victory, then you need to have it before you go to war. Got a minute? Sun Tzu says, victorious warriors win first and then go to war, while defeated warriors go to war first and then seek to win. Which means that there is a battle to win before you even hit the battlefield. In 1 Samuel, we see David preparing to battle Goliath. Then he took his staff in his hand, chose five smooth stones from the stream, put them in the pouch of his shepherd's bag, and with his sling in his hand, approached the Philistine. The key here is that he selects five smooth stones. See, because although it's not listed there, we know that same Philistine army has four more giants, just like Goliath. And David selects five smooth stones. He was ready to take out all of them. So the two main things that we see that David does in order to be that brazen and that bold to go out there is one, he stands on the experiences that he has had in the past. We see that David went head to head with lion and a bear. and He was holding sure to the promises that God had for him and the battles that he's already won. And the second thing that he does is he doesn't have a sense of fear. He actually trusts and relies in God and knows that God has given him the victory. These two keys to victory made it to where he was victorious before he even stepped out onto the field. And God promises us the same. And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto death. So that means you need to write down your testimonies, and not, not just the testimony of how you came to Christ, but all the things that you've overcome. And you need to post them so that you can see them every morning, and then you can go through your day knowing all the things that God has brought you through. And then you can walk in victory, because you know God has your back, He's brought you through so much, and He's not gonna let you down now. Thanks for taking a minute.